Hello! In this video, I am showing you how to do a mobile drag and drop in HTML and JavaScript only using your regular HTML and vanilla JavaScript without using jQuery. I know there's ways to do that, but if you can't use jQuery or you just don't want to use jQuery, then this is a solution that might help you. For this example, I have a div that's just going to be a border box. We'll use that later in the example. I have a GIF image and then I've linked my JavaScript. So let's go into my JavaScript. The very first thing you need to do is select the component that you want to drag around. So I'm going to create a variable and just use a get element by ID selector. The next thing we're going to do is create an event listener for this mustachio GIF image. Do add event listener. And we're going to be listening for the touch move event. Okay, and the first thing here is the touch move event. Every time it fires, it gives us the location of where it fired. And so we want to use that location. So the first thing we're going to do is grab that location. So I'm going to call this variable touch location. And it's going to be in this array called target touches. And we just want the very first element. Okay, the next part is where we actually change the position of our object because we're dragging it and moving it. So once again, we're going to select our mustachio GIF image, and we're just going to do some quick CSS styling changes. Now it is important to note that in your CSS you have to change it to position absolute or fixed or something so that we can change these attributes and, and it'll actually change the position of the image. Okay, and that's it for that first part. This should work. Let's go test it out. And it'll load up here. As we can see in my normal browser, I cannot move it around. But when I switch to the mobile in the Chrome developer tools, I can grab Mustachio and drag him around the page. So that works just fine. And maybe you stop there. Maybe that's all you need it for. However, if you need to be able to drag it to certain locations of the page and constrain where the user can put that, then watch on and I'll explain how to do that as well. Okay, so now we can move Mustachio wherever we want. But that is not what we want. We want to constrain where the user can drag it. This can be done by simply adding another event listener to Mustachio, listening for the touch end event for when the user releases touch from Mustachio. And when the user releases touch, we want to get the location of where they release that touch. So we want to create two variables, an X and a Y, for the location where they're currently at. And we have to wrap it in this parse int thing because if we return this property, it's going to have the little px at the end. This will truncate it so it becomes an integer. And I'll go ahead and add again up here what we just did. Next, we need to check to see if that position meets our criteria or meets the constraints that we set up. In this case, I've set up that box, that div with a border, and I'm going to make it so you can only move mustachio within that box. And if you try to move it outside the box, it will drop back to a default position. We're going to use this handy little code that I got from Stack Overflow so I can figure out where on earth these coordinates are. And it looks like my x-axis needs to be between 388-ish to 646-ish. So I'll create a if statement asking that question. If it's less than 388 or if it's greater than 646, then I'm going to reset its left and top positions to some default number. Now I'm going to do the same thing for the Y, between 100-ish and 350-ish. So if Y is less than 100 or if Y is greater than 356, then we can go ahead and copy this code. It's going to return it to the default position. Okay, that should be it. Let's see how that works. You can see I can drag Mustachio within the box. Everything works fine as normal, but when I drag him outside, he returns back to the default position. And that's all you need to do. Thanks for watching and I hope that helped.